Good morning, my summer friends. How's it going? I uh, wanted to do a quick little mini zoom on, really it is as basic as it can get. We're looking at nouns, all right? So let's look real quick. I wanna show you this video real quick. All right, so real quick, you'll get used to Miss Socratica over here. She's great. Here's a razor that works differently, the Gillette Skin Guard. It has a guard between the so blades that helps protect the skin. The Gillette Skin Guard. All right, sweet. Let's do this. You probably heard the usual drill. A noun is a person, a place, or a thing. Now you know. Usually you can imagine picking it up or walking around it. In fact, if it's an it, you've got yourself a noun. But sometimes those things are hard to put your finger on. For example, in this sentence, all you need is love here. Love is a thing, so it's a noun. But love can also be something you do. If the word love is used as an action, then it's a verb. I love you. So how can you tell if the word is a noun or a verb? Try the person, place, or thing test. Let's do it. Here's how it works. Can you substitute the word it for the word? If so, you've got yourself a noun. If you need an action to have the word make sense, you've got a verb. I am walking to the store. Can you substitute it for walking? I am it I to the store. I am it to the store. No. No, <laughs> it makes no sense. In that sentence, walking is not a thing because you're doing it. It's an action. Action words are called verbs. Mm -hmm. What about this sentence? Walking is good for you. Let's try the test. It is good for you. Yes, in that sentence, walking is good for you. The word walking is a noun because it's a thing and you can replace it with it. Let's try another example. I like tennis. I like it. Yes, in that yes. sentence, tennis is a thing, so it's a noun. Let's try this one. Tennis rackets are expensive. It rackets are expensive. No, in that sentence, the word tennis describes what kind of racket is expensive. Racket so is it's not being used as a noun. No. You can do tests with people and places to see if they are nouns too. Try out the it test on your own set of things. Yeah, do Justice. it. All right, so let's move to, um, all right, we are looking at, so I will be um, uh, sending you these on attachment. Let's go over a couple of them. She played the guitar for her friends. Person plays the thing, she, guitar, friends, okay? Um, Played is the action word, like we looked at yesterday, the verb. John went to the baseball game with his friends. John, game, friends, right? I'll also be giving you these common and proper nouns. These are pretty easy. A common noun is just a regular person, place, or thing. A proper noun names a specific person, place, or thing. So I have this pretty extensive worksheet for you as well uh, with all of, again, the worksheets I give you most of the time have the answers at the end. Make sure when you're doing them, you don't look directly at the uh, answers, but you can um, really focus on trying to answer them best you can. All right, let's see. We are gonna go and do a little practicing. Again, I start third grade except I'm in math. Let's try that again. We'll go to learning. I'm not doing any math. You guys do math on your own time. <laughs> so language arts, looking at third grade, okay? And then I want to look at this section now. There are a lot of them. 
but we are going to look at these right here, one and two, which is a noun and which is uh, an identifying a noun. So let's do some of these together. Did you forget the water? Did you forget to water your plant again? Is plant uh, um, a noun? We can switch it with it. Did you forget to water your it? Or water it again today, your plant? Yes, it is. Awesome. The passenger put his baggage on the train and sat down. Um, so this is put is the start of the verb, but sat is another verb. So we know a verb is not a noun. It's not an action word. It's just a person, place, or thing. So we get that one. The law was written a long time ago. Long here is, I believe, not a noun. Let's see. Fantastic. My parents usually notice when a vegetable isn't fresh. Okay, fresh describes the vegetable, so I know that's not a noun, okay? But I'm gonna put yes so we can look at the review. So sorry, I got that incorrect. It should be no, okay? Why? A noun is a word that names a person, place, or thing, or idea. Some nouns <clears throat> name people like daughter, passenger, firefighter. Some nouns name place like places like forest, zoo, island. Some nouns um, name things like canoe, lion, hammer. Nouns like month or question uh, names things you can't touch. Some nouns name ideas like courage, wisdom, and happiness. We got that, okay? The word fresh is not a noun. It does not name a person, place, or thing. And it just describes, uh, what was it? Vegetables. Okay, let's do one or two more. The captain turned the ship around. That is not. It's how they turned it around. It's an adverb. It is impossible to fold this shirt. We know a shirt is a person, place, or thing. You can touch it. All right, so it is very good. Let's look at, I'm going back and I'm going back down to nouns. And I want to look at identifying nouns. We'll do a couple of these and then we're gonna be done. This really is gonna be a mini, mini one. So we're looking at the two nouns. The pilot smiled at the passenger. Person, place, a thing. Person, place, a thing. Smiled at an action. Okay, did your coat get caught in the door? So coat is a thing, door is a thing. Super, my cousin is playing the piano, two nouns here. Whose cousin? My ca cousin, and what are they doing? They're playing the piano. The man rolled the barrel down the cellar. So we're looking at the man, he did something. He rolled the barrel down where? The cellar. Okay, my sister always washes her face with soap. Three nouns. Whose sister? My sister washes her face with soap. We're getting these like crazy. How fast can the pitcher throw the ball? We're looking at two nouns. Pitcher throwing what? The ball. Awesome. Let's get one wrong. The potato is on the plate. On this plate is delicious. So let's just accidentally put delicious. Again, it's going to describe that same idea. The nouns are potato and plate. The noun potato means a thing, and the noun plate names a thing. So now you have um, a quick little blurb, mini lesson about uh, nouns. I'll try and periodically add some more, maybe about pronouns, adjectives, adverbs, verbs, and, and we'll be doing that, okay? Uh, I will see you guys actually in 30 minutes for a group Zoom. Have a great day.